Your first few conversations in your target language are crucial because they set the tone for your entire language learning journey. If they go well, you'll be motivated to keep learning and improving. If they don't go so well, you could develop a fear of speaking or even negative feelings toward the language you're learning. Today, I'll explain how you can be as prepared as possible and rock your first conversations in a foreign language. When I talk to you about how to overcome the mental obstacles that are holding you back from speaking, a lot of the solutions that I gave had to do with preparation. If you haven't seen that video, I recommend subscribing to our channel and watching it next. The link is in the video description. And don't forget to turn on your notifications so that you'll know as soon as a new video goes up. Think about what the first conversation is like in your native language when you meet someone you don't know. Nine times out of 10, you ask and answer many of the same questions and discuss mostly the same topics, right? Well, it's exactly the same when you meet someone who speaks your target language, which means that you can prepare a sort of script. Everyone's script will look pretty similar and include things like name, age, where you live or where you're from, why you're learning the language you are and how long you've been learning it, details about your family, what you do for a living, and what you like to do in your free time. All you really need to do is fill in the blanks. Make a list of possible questions and how you would answer them. In your target language, of course. The next step is to get your script proofread by a native speaker of the language you're learning. I recommend posting your script on a message board for language learners, like the notebook feature on the italki website, and asking native speakers to take a look. You can also get your script recorded by a native speaker on sites like Rhinospike. This way, you'll avoid memorizing the wrong vocabulary and you'll avoid developing bad pronunciation pronunciation habits. It's good etiquette on sites like these to then return the favor and help out someone who's learning your native language. Then add flashcards for words or entire phrases or sentences to your learning stack and memorize them. Your Mosolingua app already includes many of the most common conversation starters plus ways to talk about your hobbies, work, and more. But if there aren't already flashcards for the exact things that you want to work on, feel free to create new ones. Writing your script in a web-based word processing tool like Google Docs makes it super easy to add new cards with the Moza Discovery plugin. If you want to be extra prepared, you can even have a practice conversation with yourself. Play both roles and try mixing up the order of the information in your script so that you're not caught off guard when that happens in real life. And the last step is to go for it. You don't have to spend hours talking to someone. 10 to 15 minutes is a good length to start with. If you want, you can even start with a tutor or language conversation partner rather than a spontaneous conversation setting. Of course, conversations will rarely go exactly as planned. You may want to ask additional questions based on the answers you get, for example. But if the first part of the conversation goes well, which is what you prepared for, you'll have the confidence to go off script and continue the discussion naturally. You're nearly there. Interesting, enriching conversations in your target language are within reach. Good luck and I'll see you again soon. If you learned something new from this video, give it a thumbs up, then hit subscribe and turn on your notifications. Have a look around our channel for more hacks and tips, and if you're watching on another social media platform, like or follow our page. See you next time. <laughs>